Hi guys, uh, here we have the Flash Porter. Uh, in this video clip, I am going to go over the home screen on Flash Porter and uh, give you an explanation of uh, what's on the home screen and uh, what you can do from the home screen. Um, so on the home screen at the top, we have the date and time, and um, that's there for quick reference so that you can keep track of uh, the timestamp, the date and timestamp for, uh, for your backups. Um, so if you're traveling, um, it's a quick reminder that you can adjust the time to the local, uh, the correct local date and time. Uh, this icon here represents the Flash Porter uh, internal drive. Um, you can see in my case I have a 2 terabyte SSD connected. Um, this is the amount of storage that I'm currently using and this is the total storage available. Um, to the right of that, we have four icons here um, that are folder shortcuts. Uh, with these folder shortcuts, um, you can create shortcuts uh, on the SSD or if you happen to have a um, micro SD connected to the internal slot, the internal micro SD, uh, you can create folder shortcuts to um, folders in that device also. And uh, you can choose the folder shortcut to jump directly uh, to view those folders. So if you have um, files, uh, photos, videos that you commonly access, you can set those up just for quick access. Um, in the middle of the screen here, uh, these are all the memory storage devices. Uh, the first icon is uh, the micro SD, the internal micro SD that I just mentioned. Uh, the SD card, uh, SD card slot, the micro SD card slot, uh, the compact flash, and the USB-A host port. So the USB-A host port, um, which is here, uh, right over here, um, that can uh, accept um, USB flash drives, USB thumb drives, you know, whatever your preference is to call it, um, external USB hard drives too. So um, a, a nice usage case for that is that um, you can make a backup from the SD card slot or the micro SD card slot or uh, the CF card slot that is here. That's the CF card there. Um, you can make a backup from any of those card devices to Flash Porter um, for your first backup and then you can connect an external hard drive to the USB port and make a redundant backup so that you have um, a second backup just in case. Um, on the bottom row here, uh, we have the backup manager um, and that is the screen that is gonna help you select uh, the source um, for your backup and then the target of the backup. Um, I'll cover that specifically in, an, an, in another video clip. Um, you have a copy log, so you'll be able to view the copy log that's created for each backup. Uh, the copy log will um, include information like um, the source device, the target device, uh, the date of the copy, the duration of the copy, how many files were copied, um, and it'll list out the file path of everything that was copied. Um, next, you have a playlist. Um, playlist is kind of a fun feature. Um, so on Flash Porter, when you're, when you're in the folder view, um, you can go through the playlist and you can select um, photos, videos to add to the playlist. So imagine that if you just finished a shoot and you have 500 odd photos, um, not odd photos, but 500 some photos um, on your flash porter. Um, you can go through those quickly, um, pick out maybe a handful um, that the client would like to see. Um, you can insert a USB thumb drive um, and then playlist will let you collect those uh, few photos into a playlist and then you can export um, from the playlist, the originals of those photos. So it's an easy way to, um, you know, to go through your photos, collect them, and to exchange them. Um, smartphone tablet. Um, so Flash Porter can connect to uh, smartphones and tablets. Uh, both iOS and Android are supported. Um, when connected, uh, Flash Porter will be able to see uh, the the smartphone tablet DCIM folder, or um, also known as camera roll, and you'll be able to back up. Uh, photos from those devices to Flash Porter. And this just um, puts Flash Porter into um, the necessary mode so that when you connect the USB cable to the smartphone or tablet device, um, Flash Porter will be able to see it. And then the setup menu where you can um, set the time and date and uh, make adjustments to the basic settings of Flash Porter. Uh, so that's the home screen. Um, we'll have other videos um, that cover other topics of Flash Porter, but I hope you enjoyed this one.